Morning folks, this is Kent, KJS Painting and Renovations on a video on how to build a concrete form. Uh, just to, how to build a concrete form to put in a footing. So this is an arbor with a gate here. And what's happening is they had this this wood here in the in the earth. Right, look at that. Look, that's so we're not gonna do that again. Instead, there's gonna be we're gonna pour concrete footing around here, so we need to build a form, right? Right. There's some electrical sticking up. Conduit was kind of busted. This is all gonna get redone, but it's good to wrap it in the in this tape here. So instead of having uh, wood down in the dirt, you can see how that works out. What's going to happen is there's going to be a concrete uh, concrete form that comes around here, and we're going to pour a footing, and it's going to stick out. We're going to use this just as the guide, so it's going to be about three and a half inches footing all the way around. So this, uh, let's see if I can see it. this. I decided would be a good height. So this is all level, right? Let's get back, I can show you. Let's see, get down here. You can see that line. The footing is gonna be a concrete footing that goes there. And we're gonna build a form. So we're gonna make this form out of three quarter inch plywood. It's gonna stick out four inches on this side. So that's gonna be 52, three, four, five, six and then four inches on that side. So that's gonna mean we're gonna cut at 60 inches. The form is gonna come up to here, so we're gonna cut this. Let's cut it a little bit longer at 12 inches. So it's gonna be 60 inches long by 12 inches high, this three quarter inch plywood strip. Note that I primed under here. This is also gonna get a coat of uh, coat of an acrylic Oxford Brown exterior paint. Another note, all of all of this stuff in the big post, all of this is gonna get a spray sealer in here as much as I can, even up inside here before the concrete goes in. Got this piece of plywood cut, slipped it behind here. So the top of this needs to be over here, so we're gonna have to make a cut along here. If I take the measurement there, it's sticking out four inches. It's what we want, and the other part of the form is gonna come this way. Same thing here, four inches right there. But this needs to come, this needs to come down, right? So have to make a cut and this is all sloping downhill over here so the trick is to make a cut along here and you can see here's the plywood right and this top edge needs to be down to here so I have to make a cut along the bottom So over here we got to cut off approximately four and a half inches and over here two and a half inches. So now we're just about there. I made a tapered cut along the bottom and over here there's a tree root, right? Let's see, maybe it's better. There's this nice tree root here, so I might might actually notch the tree root, but we're almost where we need to be here. So the bottom is just to kind of cut, uh, the idea is to cut the bottom of this board here. There's the existing concrete. I have to cut a little bit there from the bottom of the board. And just get it so that this, oops, there we go, this is level with this. So now we've got a tapered piece with a couple of Funny cuts in it, kind of beveled it here and just kind of cut out around that root. 
Okay, starting to look good. There's our four inches. And you gotta have a level and an engineering hammer. Here's a stake and you want this to be plumb. So we're gonna drive in a stake in the back over here. Okay, use the finish nailer to get a couple of nails in here. Okay, set this up so this this edge is going to be a little bit lower than where the concrete's going to come here. It's going to slope down to here. Same over here. Here's the top of the form. The bubble's right there. And you see the bottom of the level? It comes up a little bit so that it's going to slope, slope away a little bit so the bubble is here and the concrete's going to slope down here. The way to check this piece is from the opposite side. So the concrete's going to come up to the bottom of this board and if I slide the level across you see it's a little bit above so the concrete is allowed to I drop it down and it will be able to slope away so the water will shed away and not toward the structure. Okay we got a stake in on this end maybe add another nail. Now it's time to cut the end piece. What is that? Is that 21 and 5 eighths? Okay, got this piece slipped in. And it has to be at the same height here. We're going to shoot a couple of finish nails in over here. It's okay to toenail them in a little bit too. Check for square. The side has to come in just a bit. And over here, what we would like is that this, you know, it's sloped down a little bit so the water goes away. Stick went a little crooked, so I crooked, so I put a shim in here to kind of keep this all plumb. Okay, this piece is in. I had to taper it. I didn't want to bore you with all the details. So I'll show you how it looks over here. Got this piece in as well. Don't underestimate how, how hard concrete will push on these forms. One thing to do is you, we, cut the, uh, we cut these off level. See that sticking up? We cut this off level here so that when we're taking our trowel, we don't have to hit that. We could just use this you know, it's because the top of this form is our guide. We use this. One other thing I did back here, I put in a couple of triangles, see? And then, when all that concrete's pushing on here, these little supports are gonna help and they're, they're nailed in. I nailed these with the finish nailer to these. I'm not gonna do it on camera, but you, you can see what happens. You take the Sawzall and we come in here. We're gonna cut that off, so all of this. Is that one nice level. Here's the reason why we cut these off. So later when we're, we're coming in with our trowel to get a nice finish, we don't bump into them, see? So we could be going around, getting a real nice finish over here as well. Cut this one off, see? So we can come in here with our trowel, get a nice finish. So now the form is built for this side. Looks like got the got these uh, stakes all trimmed down, and so here's this form. And to make this strong, I added this little piece right here. A little bit of complicated cutting around here. I just put this piece here and added a little a little small piece, a little, a little bit of detail work around here. And this other piece goes under, ends up over here. And this will keep it nice and strong. I've cut a piece of uh, paper that I'm gonna fit in over here. I'm just gonna staple it along here and it's gonna go down to where the uh, sidewalk is because I don't want this, this footing to be sticking to the sidewalk. I want that to be separated. So this piece of paper 
this is gonna go in here and get stapled to uh, the inside of the form. Here's another thing that's gonna happen. We're gonna brush a bonding adhesive onto the um, existing concrete here. I've been shop back in this clean. So that's gonna get the get the uh, the bonding adhesive. This this will bond the new concrete to the existing concrete here. I got quite a few cans of this uh, clear wood sealer, and so that's gonna get sprayed onto uh, anywhere I can get onto these posts and all of this underlying structure, all of this is going to get uh, sprayed down with the sealer just because I can do it. Wetting down the existing concrete before the bonding agent goes on. A little bit of water. Kind of wash, washes it off too. I'm going to clean that up. Sort of liberally brush it on. It's good to kind of work it in so it'll Brush it on over here too. We just washed a bunch of busted up concrete. It's okay to put broken concrete in here to fill up some space. Well, that took a little longer than expected. Sorry, I sort of ducked out for a bit, didn't show it any more, but I just kind of was getting this together. It took more concrete than uh, I expected, so still got this one to do. So this is gonna happen tomorrow, but this video is getting pretty close to being finished. There was one thing I forgot to show yesterday. Edger, you know, you take an edger tool about an hour, hour and a half, and it starts to get, uh, it starts to set a little bit. And you kind of do that, and then uh, where that edge is, you just sort of do that, and it ends up looking like this. One other thing, it's good to keep this continuously wet. Cover it with plastic if you need to. A sponge float works good to clean up the wood where concrete kind of splashed on it. Well, that's not the finished piece. But this does work well to clean up the wood. See, looks a bit better. A little on mixing. Get the uh, wheelbarrow nice and wet. Open the bag with the trowel. Oops, there we go. A little more water on top. Take your hoe and mix like so. Be about uh, about this consistency. Use a stick, kind of push this around. Also, no, here's what I was talking about with the uh, with the uh, hammer. Kind of see how it all starts to settle down. Even more so once it starts to fill up. You know, kind of whack it a bit. The last bit you fill with the shovel. At the very end, it's good to use a little tool like this. And you kind of just get it here and you just sort of toss it in there. You know, making that little ramp that it ramps from the posts down to the outside. So that's the ticket there. Just kind of toss it in there. Getting to the end, it kind of is kind of what it looks like, kind of the technique for sort of finishing finishing this here. Just kind of got to do it. Sometimes it takes a little bit to start getting what you want. And just to not bore you too much, then you take something like this and where you get these lines coming up, just sort of smooth it out. It's been a couple of days 
one of the folks that lives here has been keeping this wet, so now these, these forms are coming off. Don't be afraid to use a breaker bar to push these apart. Bye. These things come right off. Make sure to bend these nails over. These are dangerous. You see this little line here? You just take your masonry chisel. You know, it's only been a couple days. You can just kind of finish it like that, right? Over here. You can kind of just knock this off and finish it and make this edge. See, look at that. Make that look a lot nicer, see? I almost forgot about that piece of tar paper to keep the this curb here is separate from the, the sidewalk. So let's take your utility knife and just cut paper. There we go. See, and I'm just using a putty knife here to kind of get this paper off of here. Just work your way down. Keep going. Get that off. Well, that's going to be it for this uh, video on how to build uh, concrete forms for footings. I hope it was uh, helpful. And if you'd like some help doing this sort of thing, give me a call. Um, I'm working out of Palo Alto. So, um, yeah, I hope to hear from you. Thanks for watching the videos and thanks for liking and subscribing. It really does help.